what's good my lovelies lovely soul empress here coming to do the fire signs april 15th through the 30th we're gonna take a look at what's going on for you guys what's coming in spirit can you show me what is going on for aries leo and sagittarius please april 15th through the 30th you have earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning I feel like you're diving into something. This could actually be like some type of a uh, school program, but this also can be like an awakening. Okay, you have the seven star sisters. Okay, and that's birthing creations, tapestry of life expression. I feel like whatever it is, is making something come to life in you. Okay, like something that you love, maybe a new discovery. For instance, let's say you were taking up Let's say you were taking up um, medicine and, you know, you have to do like a certain amount of weeks in every department and then you realize that you love obstetrics, okay? Or something like that, okay? So uh, the cosmic heart, devotion, potency, make your life a moving prayer, right? So it's about something being activated in you that's giving you something about your soul purpose, anything else. I see my camera's a little crooked. I'm not going to get back up, okay? So apologies. Uh, the Curious Peony, uh, multifaceted, unique nature, let yourself be seen. I feel like something about this puts you in the forefront, okay? Or it's it's um, making things within you come alive, okay? So we're going to take a look. Spirit, can you show me? What's coming in for Aries, Leo, and Sag, please? You've got the hangman in reverse, okay? So you might have needed to look at something differently or recently you, you've had an eye-opening experience, okay? Spirit, can you show me what's coming towards them? You have the Knight of Swords, okay? With the Queen of Wands, that is you. I feel like you're going to stand up for something you believe in. Spirit, can you show me... What's falling away for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, please? What's falling away from them? Uh, April 15th through the 30th. You have the strength card, okay? It may want you, you, you may decide to take a softer approach, okay? Spirit, can you show me what is uh, it that they cannot see at this time? What can't they see at this time? I thought something flipped, but no. The two of swords, okay, there could be something that you don't want to see or that you didn't see before. And with that hang uh, man in reverse, it feels like, you know, there's something eye-opening going on. What's the truth of the matter, please? Truth of the matter is the page of wands in reverse. Something that you thought maybe you jumped into or that you didn't think was such a great idea may actually be panning out for you. Spirit, can you show me the most likely outcome? Seven of Swords, okay? So we're going to take a look at that, and it's coming out with the Empress, all right? So uh, the Queen of Coins is at the bottom of the deck. You could be in a relationship, male or female. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But either way, the Queen of Coins is the quintessential spouse, okay? So you could have gone into something as a unit, okay, or trying to do something entrepreneurial to further your financial independence or strengthen something, okay? You have the hang woman here in reverse. Spirit, why is that? So you have the hang woman in reverse with the five of swords coming out with the sun crossed. I'm getting all my life I had to fight. And with the hang woman in reverse, it's like not understanding why something has been so challenging and the sun being crossed here. You could feel like you don't get the recognition. That's also Leo's card. But it feels more like you don't have the full understanding with that hang woman in reverse and the sun coming out cross. It's like an inability to see a different perspective of a situation. Okay? So um, you have in the position of what's coming towards you, the Knight of Swords 
with the Queen of Wands. Spirit, why is this Knight of Swords here? It could be dealing with um, a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. But it feels like this person could be younger than you. Feels like there's a, a disagreement, okay? Could have to do with that Five of Swords feeling manipulated. The High Priestess, you feel tension with somebody who maybe is not verbally saying it. Okay, with the Queen of Wands, you may feel like this person wants to hold you back in some way, but you don't know why, or, or you feel like it's not clear why they would want that, especially if it's the Queen of Coins, like if this is a person in your family unit or in your close network. You have the Queen of Wands here coming out with this Knight of Swords. Let's take a look. Spirit Wide. And it's coming out with the King of Swords and the uh, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so this is giving me two things. This Knight of Swords could be the King of Swords. Okay, they could be acting a little immature, but not speaking, maybe shutting you out because, you know, you're getting or trying to get some type of understanding of why something is working a particular way between you and a person. Now... With the Queen of Wands, it feels like you might be mirroring some of their um, energy, okay? Feels like you're dealing in fact and logic. You're sharp, okay? And with the Seven of Pentacles, it's kind of like you're waiting to see, like, what's the true fear? With the Moon, you feel like there's an unknown, okay? Like an unknown reason. And I feel like with the High Priestess, you know, clarifying that Knight of Swords... It feels like the, the answer could be staring you right in the face. Like you could be looking for a deeper reason. Okay? With the strength card here and what's falling away, somebody's trying to wear you down, I feel. Okay? Wear down the resistance. Okay? With uh, the lovers in reverse, it's like somebody's giving you an ultimatum. With the Nine of Wands, it feels like you're resisting that, okay? It feels like this person, it feels like you're headed towards an advancement. Or you're trying to advance something, but you feel like this person is like a blockade. This person isn't giving you reasons why they are that way, okay? But your fact and logic, it's like you're trying to give this person time, maybe to come around while you continue doing what you're doing. And the strength card, okay, they're trying to wear you down, okay, by maybe threatening leaving or threatening to remove support or to make another choice that they know you wouldn't want. But with the nine of wands here, I feel like you're standing ten toes down, okay? The two of wands is under the deck, okay? It's like they could be forcing you to, an ultimatum, they could be forcing you to make a decision and you could be forcing them to make a decision in your silence too. I feel like this person is using silence as a as a um, negotiating tool. Okay, you got the two of swords here in the position of what you can't see. Nine of cups. This person does not know what they want. All they know is what they don't want. And what they don't want is to be left behind. Is the feeling I'm getting with the world and the three of pentacles and the nine of swords. They're worried that if you go after or you get something that is your wish fulfillment, that it causes an ending to the collaboration that they have with you. And that has to do with their own insecurity. Okay? So we're going to take a look at this page of wands in reverse and why it's in the position of the truth of the matter. The page of wands is like an ill thought out or not thought out um, action, okay? But in the Page of Wands being in reverse, it's like almost on purpose with the Five of Pentacles to make you feel left out in the cold so that maybe you would stop doing what you're doing, right? Whatever is trying to, whatever you're trying to advance for yourself, okay? So let's say that your partner, male or female, didn't graduate high school, they got a GED, they have a good job, it's not like they haven't built a life for themselves, right? But then you may have been in the same situation with them, 
okay? And maybe you got your GED or you went back for your high school diploma, but then you didn't go further than that. And now all of a sudden you are, and the person feels like you're meeting new friends, you get, you're being around intellectuals. It doesn't have to be school. It could be anything. It's like something opens up in your life that this person is not part of. And it makes them feel like you're surpassing them and they're worried. Okay, so you got the seven of swords here coming out with the empress. Okay, it's like this person does not want you to know who the fuck you are. Seven of swords, spirit. Why is this seven of swords here, please? With the empress, empress on empress. Okay, they, they don't want you to know and you could even be pregnant right now. Okay, but I feel like they don't want you to know who you are. Okay, with the five of cups, they want to keep you in the frequency of crying over spilled milk. Now, for some of you, you could be pregnant and finding out that this person has somebody else pregnant. But the majority of you, it's like this person does not want you to know who you are. Okay, the empress spirit. Why is the empress here it's for the second time? Spirit, why? You have here the ten of cups, the four of cups. The Page of Cups and the Queen of Wands, again, with one more card came out, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, you are going to see that you are the Empress. You are definitely birthing something. You could be birthing a child in addition, but you're birthing something that has something to do with your soul's purpose. I feel like you're going to get the Ten of Cups. I feel like the Four of Cups here is like once you realize why somebody was in the frequency or why they didn't want you to have something okay it, it feels like you no longer want them okay and with the page of cups i feel like this person is apologizing okay to the queen of wands which is you okay and what was sticking out and the eight of swords okay so like they've made a prison of their own making okay through their own insecurity all right, uh, Spirit, can you show me um, a kipper for uh, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, April 15th through the 30th, please? You have here child, okay, so there could be a birth of a child, but also this person, I said they were acting a little childlike. You got the courtship card here, Spirit. I feel like, let's say you, you know, going to a new job. This person may feel like you're going to meet somebody there or... It's something where they feel left behind by some accomplishment that you're achieving, okay? So, um, yeah, you got wealthy man at the bottom of the deck, so we're going to talk about this. I feel like this person wants to feel like they, male or female, like they are the provider or they are the strong one in the relationship and something that you're doing is shaking the foundation on the way that they see not only you but themselves in, you know, in relation to you okay with the child here right okay it's it's triggering something within them for instance let's say that as a child one of their parents went back to school or did something like went through a life change and that parent left right and so now this child feels uh, or this person feels as an adult it reminds them of when they were a child, okay, and, and, and feeling like they'll be left behind. They could have abandonment issues, daddy issues, whatever, okay? So the courtship card is here, Spirit, why? With evidence, okay? This person is very jealous, okay? They're constantly watching you whether you recognize it or not, okay? They even, you know, you could be saving to like kind of exit, okay? Profession adventure but they feel like you're advancing in some way okay and then toil and labor is here spirit why okay it's like the universe is gifting you okay i feel like this pride card is is serving two purposes it's dinging their pride but this is giving you like some self-love that you're accomplishing something Okay, and then the readiness, that's you, like, ready to go after it. Okay, relaxation. Okay, I feel like something's coming naturally to you, but I feel like this other person wants to slow you down. It's making them angry with fury, okay? And then official person in reverse, spirit Why? So, uh, they have imposter syndrome, 
okay? So they're trying to project that on you with origin crossed, okay? They feel like um, there's no real place for them. There's no place like home. There's no place like home, right? But then they also feel like you, they've always felt like an outsider, Okay, so it's like you doing something for yourself makes them feel like they're going to lose the one thing that they feel is, is theirs. Okay, care. Okay, it's like they want you to heal them with confinement at the bottom of the deck and friendship. Okay, stop. You could be just getting new friends and this person wants to keep you like codependent. Okay, okay, they could be trying to make you question yourself because under that was hesitation. Okay, so Spirit, can you show me what else does uh, my fire signs need to know? You have speak your truth, inner, uh, inner strength, healing old wounds, anything else? Last shuffle, Spirit. With hot and cold at the bottom of the deck, we'll clarify these as well. Spirit, why speak your truth here? So you have drastic, extreme, harsh cut off and nightlife gamble, take a risk, Vegas. It's like this person, they did, you know, like cut you off emotionally or something, okay? To try to discourage you from going after something, okay? Okay. And I feel like you're going to speak your truth about this, okay? And I feel like you're going to go ahead and continue going after the thing you want with the gamble, take a risk. I also feel like this person trying to ice you out, okay? Ice box where my heart used to be to try to get you to like behave or stay in the place is actually a big gamble, okay? Because whatever it is, you feel cracked open. You want this thing. You're going after it, okay? With the inner strength, spirit wide. This person, okay, they 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 may be lustful in some way. Okay, so with the inner strength, okay, this person could have cheated before and, and that's why they project that you would cheat on them. But with the um, inner strength and the desire crossed, I feel like the more they stress you out or try to, uh, you know, monitor everything you're doing, the more it makes you pull away, okay? Also, um, their way, you know, they're not direct, so their way, you know, is the ghosted, blocked, cut off, okay? They might have done this to you before, and I feel like you're getting sick of it. It's like killing the passion, okay? Trash, okay? It makes you feel discarded, okay? And then healing old wounds, spirit wide. Access granted, social media, fake profile, hiding, Okay, so I feel like the, what this person is accusing you of, in a sense, they're doing. Okay, even if they're doing it just to spy on you, right? So let's say they think you have an account. So they create an account, right, to find your account, right? So it's like you realize that they, they have some wounds, okay, where you can't heal them. Okay, but it also allows you to heal a wound of yours because now it's not, it's just my imagination running away with me, right? So before, you might have felt like it was just your imagination that you were being paranoid, but now it feels like you realize like, no, I'm done with that. I'm done with letting somebody manipulate me. Okay, look, searching online, looking for records, right? So it feels like it, it pisses you off. Okay, wealthy man, days, weeks, future months, last shuffle spirit, magnetic, okay, tragedy, forbidden love. Okay, so I feel like um, this is going to be you, male or female, okay, you're going to, um, this is whatever you're going after puts you in a better financial position, okay, and this is going to happen in a relatively short period of time, future days, weeks, months, okay, this is going to make you extremely magnetic. I feel like this was the whole problem. This person has been trying to pull you back, keep you back from the destiny. And I feel like you weren't going to leave them, but now they may get left because it's, it's causing um, you. It's like they're putting you to choose between your sole purpose and them. 
And that might have worked in the past, but it won't work this time. Okay, so either this person's going to learn how to be supportive or you're going to end up leaving them because it feels like there is a very controlling energy. Okay, so that's what I have for my air. I mean, for my fire signs for the balance of the month, April 15th through the 30th. Okay, I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe and comment as I love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings on blessings. Namaste, gang, gang. Bye.